Hey guys, this is Balu and today in the short and quick tutorial, I will show how we can create chain and make it fall dynamically or hang it properly using rigid body physics in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the video useful and without any further delay, let's start today's video. So here I'm using 4.0.2, nice. So first of all, let's clear this default by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. Now let's start this by creating our chain itself. So go to this add, mesh, select this store as, come to these options here. So here I will increase this major radius and minor radius here. Now being selected this torus, press R X 90. Now press one on the keyboard for front view. Now press tab key for edit mode or else you can change it from here. Now change this to wireframe mode. Now select the vertex here. So select the half of the vertex. Now press a G Z and move it here like this. So here you can see we got our chain link. So you can press tab key to exit this edit mode or else you can change it from here. So let's change this to solid viewport. So one thing we need to remember for rigid body physics is that we need to have our objects bit large. So increase the scaling of the objects and after that apply the scaling. So select the object, come to this object options, apply, apply scale. So another thing we need to remember is that we need to have our pivot point at the center of the object. So here we will have our pivot point at this position. So we need to set this pivot point at the center of the object. So being selected the object, go to this object options, set the origin, origin to geometry. So now this is at the center. Now let's duplicate this mesh. So select the object, press shift D, Z and place it above here. Now come to this object properties and let's change the Z rotation value to 90. So now select both the objects, shift D to duplicate them, press Z to move along the Z axis and let's place it here. Now let's repeat the last action by pressing shift R. So here you can see we are getting that links added up. So I think this match of length is fine. So now let's add rigid board property to one of the link. So select the link here, come to this physics property, add rigid body. So type, let it be active and shape, change it to mesh option. So this is important, change it to mesh. And if I play this now, you can see the hook is falling down. Now we need to apply the same property to rest of the chain links. So being selected this chain link, box select rest of the chain links, go to this object, rigid body, copy from active. Now if I play this, all the chain links are falling down, nice. So now let's add a ground plane here so that this chain gets collided with the plane. So go to this add mesh, select a plane here, press S and increase the scaling. So I think this much is fine. Let's bring it here. So being selected this plane, go to this rigid body, apply rigid body here, type change it to passive. So now if I play this, you can see the chain is falling on the plane. Nice. So now let's see how we can make this chain to stay in its position. So let's select the chain here, shift D to duplicate it, press X and place it in X axis. So here you can see we got both the planes, right? So now let's select the top link here, select this top link and here change the type to passive that's it so now if i play this you can see this chain is falling down and this chain is staying in its position because we have selected this link as a passive object so once you are happy with the simulation we need to bake the simulation so in order to bake the simulation come to the scene properties here and come to this rigid body world scroll down so here we got this catchy option right expand it so here if you want to make the simulation to stay a bit longer we can increase the end frame so here i want the simulation to be like 200 frames so i will change this to 200 frames so after that just click on this bake button so here the bake is done and we got the simulation done properly so after that you can add materials onto the chain ground plane add light in the scene camera and render this out so in this way we can create chains in blender and make them fall dynamically using rigid body physics or we can make any chain hang in a particular scene using rigid body physics in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye